the Emperor Qianlong passed away at eighty-nine. During his life, he totally had seventeen sons, only ten of them grown up. In seventeen ninety-nine, when Qianlong passed away, only four princes were still alive. Qianlong's oldest son Yong Huang was born by the imperial noble consort Zhe Min. He lost his biological mother at seven years old. In 1748, Qianlong's first empress Xiao Xian passed away. Yong Huang didn't mourn the empress as deeply as ex- expected, and was hated by Qianlong. So Qianlong removed Yong Huang from the list of his successors. After that, Yong Huang became desperate and died at twenty-one years old. When Yong Huang was hopelessly sick, Qianlong regretted his oldest son. So Qianlong didn't move Yong Huang to Jianzuo, and allowed him to pass away in the Forbidden City. Qianlong's second son Yong Lian and the seventh son Yong Cong were born by the Empress Xiao Xian. Both of them were Qianlong's favorite kids and were considered as the crown prince by Qianlong. Unfortunately, none of them grew up. Yong Lian died at eight years old. Yong Cong died at one year old. Qianlong's third son Yong Zhang and sixth son Yong Rong were born by the imperial noble consort Chun Hui. Yong Zhang, the Prince Xun of the second rank, was born before Qianlong became the emperor. He was removed from Qianlong's successor's list with Yong Huang at the same time for the same reason. Yong. Zhang passed away at twenty-five. Yong Rong was the biological son of Qianlong, but in seventeen fifty-nine, he was adopted by the Prince Shen Jing of the second rank as grandson. Yong Rong was good at making poetry and artworks. He was the general editor of the book Si Ku Quan Shu. In 1790, Yong Rong passed away at 47. Qianlong's fourth son Yong Cheng, eighth son Yong Xuan, ninth son and eleventh son Yong Xing were born by the imperial noble consort Shu Jia, except the ninth. Who was died at one without name? All other boys grown up. Yong Cheng was the first son of Qianlong, who was born after Qianlong became the emperor. In seventeen fifty three, Yong Cheng was adopted by the Prince Lu Yi of the first rank, and became the Prince Lu. Of the second rank, in seventeen seventy seven, Yong Cheng passed away in the old summer palace at thirty nine. Yong Xuan was the longest living prince in Qing Dynasty. He passed away at eighty six, only three years less than his father Qianlong. Yong Xuan loved the drinking and the beauties. So he didn't have a good reputation. Yong Xing was very smart. So when he was a little kid, he was loved by Qianlong. Qianlong arranged him to marry Fu Chashi, who was the daughter of Fu Heng and the niece of the Empress Xiao Xian. But Yong Xing was a miser. He kept Fu Chas's story and didn't provide good living conditions for her. Fu Chas always starved. One day, Yong Xing's horse died, 
He cooked the dead horse and ate it. Qianlong berated Yunxing several times, but Yunxing never changed and gradually lost his father's love. In 1823, Yunxing passed away at 71. Qianlong's fifth son, Yongqi, was born by the noble consort Yu. Yongqi was a talented person and worked hard, so he always was loved by Qianlong. When he grew up, Qianlong considered him as the crown prince. Qianlong and Yongqi had a great father and son relationship. In 1753, the old summer palace, Jiu Zhou Qingyan, caught fire. Yunqi taught Qianlong escaping from the fire. Unfortunately, Yunqi passed away at 25. Because Yunqi's biological mother wasn't Qianlong's favorite consort, so Qianlong truly loved Yunqi. Qianlong's tenth son was born by the consort Shu and died at two without name. Qianlong's twelfth son Yongqi and thirteenth son Yongjing were born by the steppe empress. Yongjing died at two years old, Yongqi grown up. Yongqi once was loved by Qianlong, but with his mother's demotion, Yongqi was hated by his father. When Yongqi was alive, he didn't get any noble title from Qianlong. Yongqi's third rank prince title was given by the Emperor Jia Qing. In 1776, Yongqi passed away without any kids. All Qianlong's last four sons were born by the Empress Xiao Yichun. The 14th son Yonglu and the 17th son died under three years old. The 5th son Yongyan and the 7th son Yonglin grown up. Yongyan was the Emperor Jia Qing. Qianlong didn't think Yongyan was a qualified strong heir, but Qianlong had no choice. Yonglin was Qianlong's youngest son. When he was nine years old, his biological mother, the imperial noble consort Lin, passed away. So he was raised by the consort Yang. Because Yonglin always fell around, Qianlong really hated this son. Qianlong only gave Yonglin the third-rank prince title. The Emperor Jia Qing didn't like this full brother. Jia Qing gave Yonglin a second-rank prince title, but didn't give him a real position in the court. In 1820, Yonglin was hopelessly sick. Jia Qing visited him and promoted him to the first-rank prince. Seven days later, Yonglin passed away at 54. Thank you for watching this video. See